No, I'm not. You know who I am, so why should I introduce myself? Well, I can tell you that I'm excited to go see The Dark Knight Rises, and it's coming tomorrow. But, if you're watching this video on the exact day on Friday, so, The Dark Knight Rises is here. Now, to celebrate the day I'm going to do The Dark Knight Rises, I mean, to celebrate the day that I'm going to be, you know, watching The Dark Knight Rises, is to do something Batman related. And, also, let me say something first. I'm okay with the Christopher Nolan movies, but I just have just a little bit of complaint. And if you're watching this, Crash Jack, I have to say it. I cannot leave it alone. So, you see, um, the first Christopher Nolan movie that he ever made of the Batman movie was Batman Begins. That's it. And then the second one was Dark Knight Rises. Okay, I'm fine with that. But then the third movie's called The Dark Knight Rises. What the heck? And also, here's another thing. The Dark Knight Rises? Um, kind of is similar to the name to the second movie, just calling it Rises in the end. I mean, they could have just said The Dark Knight Rises or Falls. That could have been, you know, pretty good name, I think. Okay. You know what I what it should have been called? The first one should have been called Batman Begins, of course. Second movie could have been called Batman 2, The Dark Knight Rises. No, The Dark Knight. Third movie could have been called The Dark Knight Rises. Batman 3, Dark Knight Rises. That could have been a, a similar and, you know, knowing name. I mean, how is anyone going to know that Dark Knight is Batman? No one. Try to look at the posters. Tell me if anything there is Batman related. Okay, so how I'm going to celebrate the day that the Dark Knight Rises come out is, like I said, do something Batman related. But I have to tell you something first. The first movie that I know that was intended to be a great Batman movie was Batman by Tim Burton. And this is the VHS copy of the movie which I got from my friend Crash Jack Fan 1994 who's vacationing somewhere right now. Hope he doesn't live there like you know. And if you ever saw the the AVGN video of of, of Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, the the parts one where he's reviewing all the Castlevania episodes. Check it out, and you'll see what I mean. Check out part two, and you see what I mean, actually. But you know, I'm not gonna show that. I'm just just talking about it. Okay, so um, Batman, <laughs> and when I saw this movie, it was really good to me good but I bet it's not gonna be any better than the Dark Knight Rises I know cuz you know it's pretty better than this but it is a good movie to watch I mean don't get me wrong and you can get it on DVD or this VHX if you have one no one uses these anymore but I I keep a spare when I want to watch something something VHS Okay, but also, this movie did not come out alone. There were other movies that came out with this, but they were not too good, and some were kind of going too... One was kind of going too far. You know what I'm talking about, Batman Returns. Okay, so this movie did not only come out, but also had to make a video game of the movie, and that video game was the Batman vi the video game on the NES. Now, okay, I have something to say. If you're going to make a Batman movie, of course you're going to make a Batman video game. But some movie adaptation video games or some movies adaptating into a video game, I don't actually know how to say it. Like, it's a movie that is now a game, but that's always been a complaint because of LJN. But now, this movie was made by Sunsoft, and guess what? It's a good Batman game. Well, not as good because, you see, it only has five stages. I have managed to make it to the Joker, but he's a hard fella just to deal with. So, you know what I'm going to do? 
I'm going to do like a short review about this just to see how much of a Batman fan I am. And, you know, I'm going to get as far as I can. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to get as far enough because I might have not enough recording time to do that. But I'm going to do my best. Okay, so let's pop this in and let's see some Batman on the NES. Let's go. Okay, some Batman video game on the NES. The cinematic shot of Batman getting out. And it starts out on stage one. And you see, pressing the B button beats the enemies up in many ways um, possible. Come on. Also, um, to explain, um, the start button is where you select your weapons, and the select pauses the game, which is kind of weird, but it's still known as great. And also, Batman can also do a bunch of moves, like the Ninja Gaiden style of going through walls. Look at me playing Batman on NES. So, the storyline here is the same as the movie, if you ever watch it. Batman is now on the day, actually, he's on to save, um, Vicky Vale from the Joker, who killed his family in, when he was a young child. That was said in the movie. Oh, and also, be careful when you, you have to jump these when you hit all the enemies, or else it'll hit you. Just destroy all the enemies, then jump. Oh. Okay, here's a trick I learned. Just jump and swish back and forth like Ninja Gaiden style of jumping. Jump! See, this game is really cool, even though for being the 8-bit era. But sometimes it can have some difficulty trying to maneuver. Also, there's going to be another enemy, so I better watch out. Yeah! Okay, what I can see right now is that when Batman jumps, he can can also not die from greater height. And also, manage to click so many times just to beat this guy because he's going to take a lot of hits. Okay, now I'm going to be off to face um, this guy. Uh, I don't think he's a beat kind of person. He's pretty easy. Just keep punching him right here. That was simple. Okay, cinematic shot of Batman shooting over. Epic, pretty cool. Okay, so right now I'm just getting through these areas, just trying to make it to the final boss. Some difficulties are gonna be maneuvering. Okay, now getting through this slime is really difficult in the game. Sometimes the jump can be delayed in some points in the game, and sometimes the game glitches a little bit throughout. And if you want to get back up, just do this. Press A and jump to the walls, and that's where you'll get back where, you, where you're supposed to go. You know, the first time playing, I never knew that I actually could be awesome at this game. 
And also, make sure you don't waste your weapons when you face the Joker, because you're going to need a lot of it just to, you know, um, beat him. Also, just to get through here, just jump. At least it'll get you close and not at least try to kill you too much. Okay, I'm into stage two, too. Now, this is where I got difficulty at the beginning when I was playing, but it took me a while. And also, every time you die, if you die three times, then you get game over, but you can still keep playing without turning off your Nintendo. And make sure you have light taps on the button when you're trying to jump over those, uh, you know, those electric things on the ground and floor. Tap slightly. Also, make sure you switch if you're gonna punch, because you're gonna need these guys just to punch. Getting up the wall. I don't know if I can do it. Okay. Yes! Okay. Just getting up the wall here. It takes a minute also. This part, just jump the wall on the left. And you'll make it. it. Takes a lot of skill. If you're an average gamer, oh dang it, I just died. Okay, if you're an average gamer who, you know, gets this game on your Nintendo if you have one, um, try to do your best to maneuver very very fluently through the game, and if you like some help, just go get some walkers if you want to. It's sometimes very difficult in the game. Okay, getting through this. Oh, switch weapons. Be Batman. You have to be careful when you're around here. fist is a real action in the game because you're actually, you know, not using much of weapons here than just trying to go around. And there's no grapple in this game, so it's going to be kind of hard just to get around. You're going to need all the skills you can just to get through this. Here's a cool tip. If you want more items, just hit this guy right here and keep pressing so you can get more items to maneuver in the game. And also, you can duck while the guy's shooting and completely just go through this game. Easy as pie. Also, you have no choice but to get hit by these spinning gears. Or you'll die. Just manage to have great hits while getting through this. When you get through down here, I forgot, when you get through down here, you have to make sure that you're moving it around so you don't get hit. Tapping like jump. Also, make sure that thing goes in the side so you can hit it. Okay, one more life left, but I'm gonna still trying to make it. Okay, now, this one's a bit tricky, because when you're maneuvering weapons, even if you have them, you can sometimes get killed at this part, which can be really difficult. What you have to do is beat all, all the weapon rooms. That's it. You can get it by luck.
Dang it. Okay, so I think I managed to tell you the idea of how the game works. It's a hard game, but try to skill through it, and maybe you can get through this game very easily. This game is awesome. I'm serious. When you play this, you're going to have some difficulty. You're going to try to, you know, like, strangle yourself of trying to beat this game. Well, not for real, just in sarcasm. But you will not give up trying to beat this game. I, go, I give up once, but I'm not going to give up so easy. I'm going to try to beat this game very soon. Okay, well, that's all I have to say about Batman. And all of you hope to watch The Dark Knight Rises because it's going to be an awesome flick that I know. I have some a little bit of hope for the movie. Let's see, am I forgetting anything? Oh yeah, gotta go prepare. I'm gonna get advanced tickets for it. Well, FC100, signing out, and see you next time.